as you probably know, flash loans are the new big trend in DeFi. People are so crazy about them, but people also make a lot of mistakes about flash loans. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the five worst mistakes that people make when they want to create profitable flash loans. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel in the blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. And before we continue, make sure that you register for my free flash loan training where I'm going to teach you all my secrets. The first big mistake that people make is that they focus only on flash loan. And what do I mean by that? Well, flash loan in themselves are just a tool, but if you don't combine them with something else, they are totally useless. And especially if you want to make money with flash loan, you need to combine them with either an arbitrage strategy or you need to leverage flash loan to do some liquidation on other DeFi protocols. So, Keep this in mind, the flash loan mechanism in itself is not so complicated. That's basically an unsecured loan. But what you need to focus on is how you're going to use this flash loan. So when you talk about flash loan arbitrage, there are many people who are non-believers. They don't think it's possible because they make the mistake of thinking that they need to do this manually. So they will refresh every five seconds the website of some decentralized exchange and compare the price and see if there is any opportunity. But of course, for a professional trader that actually make money with flash loan, they don't do like this. They, they automate the whole process. So they have a script that monitor the price and automatically detect arbitrage opportunities. So if you want to make money with flash loan, don't think that you should do it manually. You have to do it in an automated way. So if you want to make money with a flash loan, one of the best way is to do it with an arbitrage strategy. So that means that you will buy some token or some decentralized exchange where it's cheap and you're going to sell it where it's more expensive. But for this, you need to first decide to monitor the price of a specific token. And this is very important to pick the right token because if you don't do it, you're going to suffer from what we call slippage. So that means that as soon as you will try to buy or sell a lot of this token, it will impact negatively the price and your whole arbitrage is going to collapse. So the answer is to pick what we call a liquid token. So that means a token that is heavily traded. So you have a lot of traders that want to buy it, a lot of traders who want to sell it make sure to pick a liquid token in your arbitrage strategy for your flash loan. So the other day I was on Telegram on a group just for flash loan traders and there was a newbie that was a little bit angry because he watched some YouTube video where someone talked about some mysterious crypto bots that he used to do some flash on arbitrage and so this newbie was super angry because when he asked the youtuber to give him the script the guy said oh you can have it but um, that's up for sale you can you can have it for free and so the guy was like yeah like I, I want the script like if only I had the script I will make a lot of money but no this is not as simple as this like if he had the script he would probably still not be able to use it properly so you have to uh, to be really fast. So first of all, so maybe that this script is not fast enough and then you need to monitor your, your script. You probably need to do some uh, adjustment. Maybe that at some point you need to add some exchanges. So basically the idea is that for you flash on arbitrage, this is not going to be a static thing. Like you just write the code once and that's it. You can forget it. This is something that you have to continually improve. So forget about this uh, this myth of the crypto bot that you just install once you run it and that's going to be your magic factory for money this does not exist and next what i think is the biggest mistake is to totally ignore the blockchain technology and to only obsess over money so on my channel, originally, there was mostly people who are developers who want to learn blockchain development. And since a couple of weeks, I started to talk more about flash loans. So I can see that there is a new audience that is coming to the channel. So most of the new guys are mostly traders. They are mostly concerned with uh, trading on the blockchain. And 
I feel like a part of this new group is absolutely not interested at all in the blockchain technology and only care about making money. And there is a problem about this because really on the blockchain, if you really want to unlock the true power of the blockchain, this is a very technical field. Um, and if you stay at the user level, then it's going to be very difficult for you to seize the opportunity. And especially if you want to enter a technical field like flash loan arbitrage. So even if you are a trader and you don't want to be a developer, if you want to be an effective DeFi trader, you need to get into the blockchain technology and also start to study smart contract programming and solidity. And of course, my channel is a great starting point. You have a ton of tutorial on Solidity, Blockchain and Ethereum. So next, what I want you to do, I want you to go over all the mistakes that I talked just before and try to think which of those mistakes you might have done or you might be doing and how you can correct this. And actually, the best way to learn about flash loan is to take my free training on it the blog. So go register there and I'll send you a couple of emails to make you a flash loan master. All right, I'll see you for my flash loan training. Bye.